save my back a little bit, right guys? Why not? You guys cannot see this is the crappy angle, but uh, I'll work my way down to the camera. Not that you're missing much, I'm just turning out garbage material. Garbage construction material. And I got the door wide open. This, this stuff is just gnarly. And I'm glad I bought, I'm actually glad I got this trailer because I get the experience at stripping it. I kind of get the uh, pros and cons of the trailer. And I didn't pay that whole lot for it. To sell it for at least three thousand, I'll make a decent money, make some decent moolah on the deal, and then I can use that to buy the proper trailer at the proper time. Or I'm thinking about um, the other thing I was thinking about, guys, is one of those Amish prefab sheds as a tiny house. It all depends on how badly the developer encroaches on my easement. Basically, that's how that's going to roll. Oh, yeah. This is all rotted down here. Sing a reef. Absolutely gross. Especially that water in there. Huh. Yeah, I don't like that crap. This is a, at least this window, though, guys. It's got it's one of these emergency windows, so this side a person could fit out of, as opposed to this one where no. So at least you have an escape route you bail out here if there was like a fire or something but uh, this would be big enough to put a little air conditioning unit you just got to fill in the rest with uh, obviously you can fill in the rest with something decent like a uh, foam board or something this thing is kind of ganky 
great. Let's see if we can continue on with some decent lighting. There we go. Better angle. Now, the mice and rats love this pink insulation. But if you guys get the green stuff, which is called rock saw, it's already treated. And you don't have to worry about that crap. And the nice thing about that stuff, it has a fireproofing rating on it. And it's a good sound deadener too on the outside. But, like I said, um, the majority of what I plan on doing is doing a, um, wow, I want to do spray foam because that'll strengthen the trailer up, make hell of a, hell of a, hell of a better uh, insulation value than it's got, but just stuffing some pink in here. Like I say, who knows what will happen because always fighting with the city on tiny housing. It's pretty ridiculous, guys. A uh, word of warning to everybody out there. Times are getting... You go to the grocery store. Times are getting tough. Stuff, the cost of everything just keeps going up and up and up. So, I think it's a good time to start thinking about off the grid, isolating yourself from all the nonsense before we hit a point where, well, nobody can afford to buy anything, especially housing. So, really something to think about, guys. It really is. Now this carpeting is something else. It is gnarly. all the way down here to the carpeting. That's that mold, that water that got in. And the other thing, getting spray foam, works as an awesome water barrier as well. No leakies is the main thing. No leaks, which means great. able to get back over here under this wall there's a screw right here which I'm thinking about really getting that out of there we'll have to go from there see if I can start ripping and tearing guys okay let's head back over this away and I will in the camera off silicone or vinyl? Might be vinyl actually. No wonder you guys gotta watch out. If you guys aren't buying or making your own tiny house and you're buying from somebody, make sure they're good and don't use crap building materials because this stuff, talk about cheapo. Oh, man. Crap, it broke off. That's not what I wanted. see all my live 
daily content, become a Patreon member. Click on the link on my YouTube channel at the Awkward Tiny House. Click on support this channel. It'll take you to the Awkward Tiny House page on Patreon. Or you can just Google it. Sign up and join in. Thank you.